Let's discuss uh, the main issues uh, that we see quite frequently in our day-to-day -day practice and discussed in literature. First of all, when shall we use post-operative radiation therapy with chemo or without chemo? Uh, do we need hysterectomy after radiation therapy? When it's relevant to use uh, uh, radiation IMRT or brachytherapy, we use Astra 2020 guidelines. Uh, let's speak about uh, the first question, post-operative uh, radiation therapy with chemotherapy or without it. Let's look at the guidelines, clinical guidelines, that say that in the early cervical cancer, in the high risk of relapses, we conduct adjuvant radiation therapy with chemotherapy using platinum substances. Uh, they are high uh, level of evidence-based. For the high risk of relapse group, it's a positive margins of vaginal metastasis in the lymph nodes or uh, invasion of parametrium. Chemo and radiation therapy is indicated. 45-50 gray of the minor pelvis radiation exposure with 40 milligrams per cubic meter uh, each week uh, carboplatin. Clinical recommendations uh, say uh, that in the group of intermediate risk in early stages of cervical cancer, adjuvant radiation therapy is indicated but we should see lymph and vascular invasion, stromal invasion, and uh, the size of the primary tumor of the cervical cancer. Uh, the uh, GOC 92, 277 patients, squamous cancer, edema carcinoma after radical hysterectomy in the medium risk group of relapses, so we see the reduction of the relapses rate by 47 uh, percent with the use adjuvant, uh, adjuvant uh, radiation therapy with the toxicity 6 percent and 2 percent. The follow-up, five years. It's recommended to conduct conform uh, radiation therapy of the minor pelvis 45-50.4 gray or 1.8 gray for fraction or 40, 42 gray uh, in fractions of 2 gray. Occult cancer, it's invasive cancer after total hysterectomy that can be detected by histology. In this case, uh, we use like our regimen like in 1A stage a radical hysterectomy with a lymph dissection. Uh, it's recommended to conduct chemo or radiation therapy, compare, taking into account pathomorphological conclusion. Uh, radiation therapy of the minor pelvis, uh, 45, 50 gray, with the falling bracket therapy or distant radiation therapy in case of a high risk of progression of relapse. Parallelly, we considered uh, the possibility of chemotherapy, uh, taking into account risk factors. Next question. Shall we do hysterectomy, perform hysterectomy after uh, chemo and radiation therapy? Let's look at the clinical recommendations. So they say clearly that for 1B3 up to 4A cervical cancer, adjuvant hysterectomy after radiation therapy is not recommended. 
during the last 10 years, brachytherapy and AGBT demonstrated good control, local control for Y, B3 and 2, B stages. In this case, AG1 hysterectomy is not indicated. Uh, also, if there is a, re a residual tumor, AG1 hysterectomy may be considered. PET CT in three months after treatment is recommended. If in 8 12 weeks after treatment we see the growth of the tumor that is confirmed histologically, hysterectomy is recommended or pelvis, pelvic exenteration is recommended. When shall we conduct uh, radiation therapy? The recommendations say clearly that uh, this technology of radiation therapy is recommended as a post-operative recommendation, uh, uh, radiation therapy treat, uh, in treatment of the earlier stages of the cervical cancer. IMRT is better because we can reduce uh, the exposure to the bladder, to the rectum, to the bone marrow. ERTOG-1203, uh, uh, there, there was uh, the trial comparing 3D RT and IMRT for as post-operative radiation therapy of the early cancer of the cervical cancer and uterus cancer. It showed uh, the reduction in the gastrointestinal toxicity, toxicity from the urinary tract. Uh, and a number of other trials, retrospective trials, showed comparing 2D, 3D technology, comparing to IMRT, reduction of both acute and late uh, radiation complications. But there are no data as to the increase in the survival rate uh, using IMRT comparing to 2D and 3D radiation therapy. What else shall be noticed while using IMRT technology? IMRT technology recommends to take into account the movement of the target comparing to the fullness of the bladder and the rectum, and also day-to-day -day control of a CT visualization. The IMRT, IMRT technology may use integrated boost for the pelvic invasive lymph nodes. It depends on the volume of the lymph nodes, the summarized dose 55, 65 gray. The exposed dose depends on the uh, sizes of metastatic lymph nodes, localization, and uh, the risk organ exposure. When do we use brachytherapy? Today, brachytherapy is inseparable component of the locally advanced cervical cancer in the programs of chemo and radiation therapy. Why are we speaking about this now? It's well known for a long time, although in the beginning of the 2000, since 2004, 2011, it's at the time frame when uh, such technologies, MRT, MRI, MRT, CBRT, stereotaxic boost, uh, they started to be used. Papers emerged uh, uh, when uh, the literature data and uh, methods of treatment of the locally advanced cancer started to be analyzed. Uh, the analysis of more than 7,000 patients of their 
patients of the second and fourth stage of cervical cancer showed uh, that IMRT plus uh, SBRT boost reduced uh, the overall survival comparing to brachytherapy group alone. Although at that time brachytherapy uh, was not frequently used, all in all, these technologies, uh, no IMRT and CBRT, they can't replace brachytherapy. This methodology may be considered only in case of palliative care. If uh, the medical establishment uh, doesn't have brachytherapy, uh, the patients are to be referred to other specialized uh, establishment for brachytherapy. Brachytherapy can be considered as a post-operative therapy. It's recommended to use in a high risk of progression, positive resection margin in case of the deep invasion parametrally, paravaginally. Uh, it's, uh, uh, we should use uh, multi-channel vaginal applications or needles, intrastatic needles to uh, expose, uh, to have the relevant exposure of the tissues. Uh, let's talk about methodology of brachytherapy. Today, brachytherapy has such notions as uh, GTV, CTV of high risk, and CTV of immediate risk. For this, it's uh, the volume, and for this volume, we should understand that we expose uh, this summarized dose of the whole regiment of the radiation therapy, GTV and uh, high-risk CTV, the summarized dose should be not less uh, than 80 ray. All the notions, uh, they are approved by uh, the group uh, GEC Extra, and they are reflected in uh, uh, their other clinical and other medical establishment uh, within their uh, MRI-based adaptive BRI sister therapy and other protocols. This protocol proved the increase of a local enhancement of a local and local regional control, improvement of the survival, the uh, treatment, the length of the treatment shouldn't exceed 50 percent. The quality of life is improved uh, by uh, with the use of IMRT comparing to 3D CRT and uh, the chemo radiation cycles more than five. Uh, the international community consider their embrace protocol as uh, the basic protocol. Today, Manufacturers of different uh, applic uh, applicators to uh, conduct hybrid brachytherapy, intracavity and intratissue brachytherapy. When we have a large volume of a tumor, non symmetrical, that extends uh, there, goes beyond the cervix of the uterus. And these applicators, uh, they can improve uh, their, optimize uh, the dosage coverage of the volume target. Then we control with MRI and CT, also uh, ultrasound examination, intraoperative visualization is recommended to prevent uh, their uterus perforation. But some establishment uh, that doesn't have uh, the brachytherapy modalities, 2D brachytherapy can be used, and uh, control point A to, con to correct uh, the summarized dose. 
maximum and minimum doses are considered and stipulated in the guidelines. Radiation therapy is inseparable part of the locally advanced cervical cancer as an adjuvant treatment after operation in case of the risk factors. Uh, combined with chemotherapy, brachytherapy in the primary lesion, IMRT and IGBT, effective to reduce toxicity uh, for the normal tissue, allowed to increase uh, the dose for residual uh, tumor in case of uh, metastatic lymph nodes. All these factors, uh, they can lead to uh, safe and uh, secure treatment. Now it's a new project, the Institute of Nuclear Medicine. It will open up in uh, the region of Himki. It's a Moscow region where uh, there is uh, this medical establishment. It's uh, an expert center of the full cycle for diagnostic and treatment of oncological diseases. It's uh, the benchmarking center. Uh, for clinical trials, for international clinical trials. We hope uh, that it will give uh, huge opportunities for their high-level experts to work in.